Well, my proof listener and meta coordinator got done faster than I expected. So Heather and Snow is officially live on LibriVox.org. It doesn't have the book cover and um, CD cover yet, but that will be added by a volunteer at some point. Now, I will be adding hopefully some more um, behind the scenes of this videos on here like I have been already. And in there you might get the idea that there's some difficult language in here, some Scotch dialect, or Scots, I believe it's called Lowland Scots in this case, possibly. Anyway, um, that was a big challenge and took a lot more time to edit than my typical audiobook recording. And so hopefully the way of actually hearing someone read it who understands what the words are supposed to mean, even if they're difficult to read on the page, Hopefully that will help you as a listener understand it better, which I have heard happen for um, plenty of people, at least Americans, um, because I know my, my accent will not be correct at all for a Scotch listener, but for American readers, hopefully it will be helpful. Um, and if you're still just struggling to get the gist of the story, if you haven't had a lot of exposure to Scotch dialects before, um, there is an abridged edition from several decades ago, I first read this years ago, called The Peasant Girl's Dream. So instead of being Heather and Snow, it has this different title when it's edited by Michael R. Phillips, and he cuts out a huge percentage of the Scotch dialect and translates some of that into, um, into English. And then if you just still want to get the whole book, but don't want to have troubles understanding. In the future, David Jack is going to be making one of his special translated editions of Heather and Snow. That's the plan. And in that case, whenever there is a section of Scotch, um, for example, What think ye, Master Fergus? You it's going to be, Minister, said Robert. Um, it, go, it gets translated. That was a really easy part to understand, but what do you think, Master Fergus? You that's going to be a minister. There's some parts that would be much more hard, difficult to understand the Scotch, and then you can just flip over and read the English. So these editions are out for quite a few of McDonald's Scotch novels already, but not quite Heather and Snow yet. So there are some um, options to hopefully help you keep on keep enjoying George MacDonald's books. Um, as I wrote in one of my posts or mentioned in a video, this um, Heather and Snow is a little bit more gothic style um, than some of George MacDonald's, um, but it's on the milder side. And so there are some darker themes and scenes and things, um, but this is just so shot through with the beauty and the light and the joy of following and loving the bonnie man the bonnie man being jesus christ so i hope it will be a blessing to you